Marina Abramovich is not known for painting canvases or shaping clay. She's a performance artist, and for 40 years, she's been making art with her own body. In 2010, she staged her most famous performance to date, The Artist is Present. Abramovich sat silently in a chair at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City for three months, and people gazed into her eyes. Tell me about what happens when you're sitting across from someone. You open the soul, because that is everything there. Some of the 750,000 souls who heeded her call seemed hypnotized, some wept. As for Abramovich, sitting still for hours at a time caused pain in her hands, legs, and her spine. If you're doing pain and understanding that you can control the pain and you can liberate yourself from the pain, then pain is okay. But you might say that pain is Marina Abramovich's medium and her message, deal with it. Back in 1973, she rhythmically jabbed the spaces between her fingers, at times drawing blood. Shocking stuff, but to hear the art world tell it, serious, important work that breaks boundaries. I mean, it's greatness. That's it, simply. I mean, Sean Kelly was you know, the I mean, first I mean, gallery owner to represent her work internationally. And I think that Marina's profound ability to touch people comes from the fact that she never felt she was loved enough. She was born in 1946 in Belgrade, then the capital of Yugoslavia. Her parents argued violently with each other, and Abramovich says her mother beat her. The worse childhood you have, the better artists you become, because you have things to work with. And just the fact that my mother never kissed me, it was such a huge, painful thing in my life and damaged me so much. Were you wilder as a young woman, as a teenager? I was black sheep completely all my life. I was absolutely rebel. I had to be rebel. I have to rebel everything and everybody to create my own space. It was a space, says Abramovich, that was hers and hers alone. When I was starting the performance art, it was nobody territory. Everybody was thinking it's ridiculous. Everybody was thinking that was the, the not art in, in the first place. So it took me all my life. For years, people ask, why is this art? When do you think that stopped? I think more after Mama show. Unlike her legendary show at the Museum of Modern Art, this is not performance art. So here we are doing experiments, and uh, basically experiments of my brain. Because she's known as someone with remarkable mind control, neuroscientists recently brought her to an historic soundproof chamber at Bell Labs in New Jersey. We are measuring the differences in her brain as she is changing her mental state to watch her brain waves as she made sounds. Being the subject of experiments, putting one's body through years of painful performances, and planning new shows can take a toll on an artist. So do you get to spend a good deal of time up here? Since 2007, she's come to this star-shaped house in upstate New York to recharge. What do you call this place? My paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Abramovich was married twice and for 12 years lived and worked with another performance artist, a West German known as Ulai. Yes, the slapping was performance, but today she is here alone. So there are lots of lots of things here. Her archives are here. And they're all labeled and numbered. Yes. Wow. And there are 26 acres of meadows and orchards. You know, we can learn from nature. Nature is a big, big teacher, which we forgot. Her favorite tree is here. Everybody have to... Oh. Everybody have to find his own tree, you know? Try. Yeah. See how looking. I like it. But really, and then just, you know. Yeah, it's gorgeous. When do you and get to come into nature like, and oh, hug it? <laughs> and we hug together. This is the hut where she meditates, which is just what Lady Gaga did when she came here last year to study Abramovich's meditation techniques. She's a good student. She doesn't cheat. She go all the way. Abramovich's current show goes all the way to nearly nothingness. 
here's the empty Sean Kelly Gallery. There's no art on the walls Nothing. and it's absolutely nothing to sell, as you see. And then I'm going to put headphones. Okay. She asks the audience to put on noise canceling headphones, wear a blindfold, and make the performance themselves. I care about the ideas I'm afraid of. I care about ideas who are terribly disturbing that I say, oh my God, how I can do that? That's the idea I want. Her next idea is to raise funds to build an institute in upstate New York to present and preserve performance art. And recently, she thanked hundreds of her donors with hugs. I hugged 600 people that day. It was from the morning till the late evening, I stayed there and hugged one every single person. And that was a very moving moment, very moving. So today, the little girl who never felt enough love gets more than most people could handle.